So y'all know how I said that I would not speak on Kanye West until some sort of wake-up call came his way. Well, thanks to this article that was sent to me by one of my subscribers, Robin Felix, I believe a touch of a wake-up call is coming, is is upon us, I should say. Now, this isn't a full-blown wake-up call, so to speak, but it does affect his brand. Because according to this article that was sent to me, hold on. Sorry about that. I clicked the wrong article and I didn't want to have y'all wondering what was taking so long to start talking. But according to the article that was sent to me by Robin Felix, Kanye's brand is taking a hit in Sydney, Australia. Because according to this article, it says another blow for troubled Kanye West. Rappers 2XU Activewear launched in Sydney is shut down after just 45 minutes. After customers fail to turn up to buy his $500 bike shorts, they shut his, his, whatever his bike short sale, whatever he was selling down after less than an hour because no one showed up to buy them. Now, this could be one of two things. One, they're too damn expensive. I mean, $500 for a pair of shorts. First off, like where in what area in Sydney, Australia was he selling them? Was this in a high end area or was this in a middle class to poor area because if it was the latter then of course no one was going to go out and buy them and hell some people in the high end area probably wasn't going to buy them either and two which is probably the more obvious one because of his recent antics they have become worldwide everyone around this establishment around this globe knows how toxic 45 is and when people line themselves with him Around the world, they find out. Social media is a very powerful thing. Once it's out there, it's out there. And I'm very sure that he had a lot of people or a lot of fans who followed him who are from Sydney, Australia, or just Australia in period. And then they weren't going out to the, the bottom. And then I noticed that he markets things that aren't even or should not even be costing that much money. Remember when he came out with them goddamn shirts that had the holes and stuff in them? I said, if I wanted to do that, all I had to do was go buy a pack of white tees, throw it in some dirt stump on it a little bit, and cut some holes in it, and boom, I got that same exact shirt. That's basically all they did. And then he slapped a $100 price tag on them. But let's go ahead and read this article. Kanye West Sydney launched last Saturday was shut down after just 45 minutes. Fairfax Media reported that customers failed to turn up to the Oxford Street store to purchase the rapper's collaboration with the Australian sportswear giant. It was expected fans would be queuing up to purchase the $550 neoprene leggings and $500 bike shorts that had been spruced by Kanye's wife, Kim Kardashian, on Instagram. Well, that could probably have another <laughs> reason as well because of who decided to model them. They may not like her either. However, customers failed to turn up to the launch, and management decided to shut it down after less than an hour. A representative for 2XU told Fairfax that the activation was not shut down due to a lack of customers, but rather a change of direction. And they put change of direction in quotes. There has been a change of direction from head office, and unfortunately, the event has been canceled. The spokesperson said. Kanye's 2XU ranges... Range includes $550 neoprene leggings and $500 bike shorts that Kim Kardashian, age 37, has been promoting on her social media accounts. The sportwear is now only available for purchase on 2XU's online store. However, the exact release date is not yet to be uh, announced. Now, see, this is the part where I know that they were lying. They put change direction in quotations. No, it's because... It's because of his antics. Like, why can't they just keep it real with the people? It's because of his antics. That's why people didn't go out and buy them. And putting them on your site is not going to do anything either. They're not going to move that way at all. I'm just, I just have a feeling it's not going to move that way either. The disappointing launch comes after the, after Kanye made headlines for his frenzied Twitter activity and controversial public statements. The Gold Digger star, age 40, sparked the backlash for claiming that slavery was a choice during an appearance on TMZ. And, um, let me see. It says, and during a Twitter spree last month, Kanye declared his support for 45 and posted photos of himself wearing a Make America Great Again cap. 
Kanye has since left Los Angeles and jetted to Wyoming to finish up the five albums he's working on. Sources for TMZ claim that the artist is now at his secluded home in the Cowboy State and that he will be there for the le at least several weeks. They need to stop lying to these people and keep it real. The only reason people didn't buy his shit is because of what he's been putting on Twitter the last few weeks. That's why. Everybody knows that, but they're not going to come out and flat out say that because they have to do a politically correct uh, statement. Well, I say good for him because there are many more to come. Like I said, I will only speak on this when his wake up calls start to happen and I think they're starting to snowball. Now, the biggest wake up calls to come for him will most likely be whatever happens to him here in the establishment since it was the establishment, especially the black sector of it that made him. Now, that's where it's going to where it's going to kick in. If he gets the same treatment that Chrisette Michelle got last year, that might be his biggest wake up call yet. And you know what's so crazy? Something tells me either he's naive to this even occurring or he probably doesn't even care. But at the end of the day, his brand is still taking a hit for his stupidity. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.